Hi Pisces, I hope you're all doing well in today's reading. We'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about for January. We're here, which is Sagittarius, and we also have air signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, specifically Gemini, Aquarius coming through. Also have this person recommend, represented by victim, so shadow attributes is what I'm getting. Playing the victim for positive feedback in the form of pity, inability to maintain personal boundaries. Yeah, this person, they're emotionally very clingy. Really, they're, if there's separation or distance between the both of you, this person's having an extremely hard time. They may be sitting in their self-pity here, right? with the moon, chariot, and Reno, things never go my way, nothing works out with me, my blessings are blocked with Jupiter and square, nothing's expanding, um, I'm stuck in my life, that is sort of their mentality, and they're, you know, going within and really sulking, moody person coming through here, Pisces, for the first half of the month overtly emotional so i'm getting this can be a water sign or someone who has strong water placements could be a cancer moon for some of you for how they're viewing you we have a wheel of fortune death upright three of swords there's a lot of changes that are you know not in your control perhaps and they fe see you feeling a bit conflicted some of them really you're not invested this is over for good and they're feeling a bit disheartened when it comes to that, if that is the case. For their feelings, we have embarrassed, longing in reverse, empowered upright, knight of swords, ace of swords in reverse. This is interesting because I think last month's reading you had embarrassed as their feelings as well. So that self-conscious, awkward... I'm not sure what this is about. It could be this person has difficulty expressing themselves. They're definitely, their throat chakra is blocked here with all the swords, right? In reverse. They're not communicating. They have no, not looking at this situation very fondly. That's for a few of you. What action they're taking towards you? We have King of Wands, Seven of Swords. A very sneaky individual. They have some toxic traits here they can be quite secretive i am getting player energy with this combination but also someone who's quite manipulative there is a lot of passion this person feels for you they find you very beautiful um but they're they're hiding some things here but very sneaky and not to be trusted so be careful if this person comes around. They're emotionally very manipulative. The blockage here, we have King of Swords, Three of Wands, the world in reverse, Five of Wands. Well, someone's emotionally unavailable, extremely detached, and not seeing the potential here. You know, there's no forward movement, but someone's not leaving the situation entirely either. So it's sort of stuck here because there's a lack of, communication emotional expression there's someone's very holding back quite a bit and internally very conflicted for others of you there's literal competition right where there's other people um, involved here as well because this king of wands is sneaky so they could have other their eye it's sort of king of wands can sometimes be that energy where the grass is greener on the other side so always keeping their options open Right? Seeing what, what else is out there that is never satisfied and easily manipulated through passion, if that makes sense. For your outcome, Pisces, we have strength, eight of cups in reverse, fool upright. There will be times, or there is, when you do emotionally, you know, you go back and the, you're, you ha you're having a hard time moving on from this, but... With the Fool here as the Major Arcana, I think you're... I'm getting 50-50 here. Some of you will want another beginning, a chance with this person. And others of you, you you want to leave this in the behind, behind you. 
although it is a bit difficult, then start something new elsewhere, right? This is zero, starting from scratch. No baggage, two of pentacles in reverse, eight of wands, two of swords, nine of pentacles, upright, star, upright, and lovers in reverse. This person is losing faith. They're giving up and deciding to be single here. Very distant. This can be an Aquarius here as well with the star. That they're distancing themselves and acting single, perhaps even choosing to ignore the situation for the first half of the month. Your feelings, Pisces, we have death in reverse, six of wands, empress. Some of you recognize that this was a bit of a toxic energy or relationship and some of you are letting go, right? With strength, the devil, you're releasing control. You're not wanting to... I'm almost getting you're wanting to focus on yourself. Some of you are getting a lot of attention from others. You're doing well with the Empress. This is talks about self-care, someone who knows their self-worth. And both of these paired together is actually a very high vibration here. Someone who's being recognized for their beauty, for their talents, right? Venus, the way you carry yourself, you're very beautiful and you have a lot of admirers here. This person finds you extremely attractive, right? Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. They have their eye on you. But there's other people as well. I'm getting very desirable. We have, I need to dilute the truth with a few lies. I don't want to upset you. Yeah, Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords in reverse. The liar, this person hides things. They're not the most honest. There's a lot of secrecy. I need to focus on my family right now. They need me. Dating you would be just too difficult right now. Some of them are involved with that King of Wands. Can sometimes represent a married man. So that is why they can only give, you know, bits and pieces. And others of you, they could be something to do with their mother is coming through here. We have, I'm so impressed with you. I keep myself busy with work so I don't think about you. Yeah, strong air energy coming through, but for sure, this person recognizes your worth. I don't see an issue here, but they have a hard time committing or settling down, I'm getting. They have a wandering eye, Pisces. But yeah, they could be trying to focus on their work here. Perhaps... You know, the situation, when they think about it, stresses them out because they don't really feel, they feel a lack of control over you. Let's get you advice, Pisces. Interesting. Number 31. Unleash your creativity. And we have the Empress, right? Number three can represent creativity as well. 31 or 4 could be significant. We have allow your imagination to roam without limits and access and assess new ideas without judging them. It is time for you to be innovative and birth unique creations. If you are feeling stuck, get up and move, try new things, meet new people, read books, paint. Concentrate on the area of your life where you need to be creative. Are you a great singer who needs to share your talents with others? Do you have an affinity with gardening? Can you tell powerful stories? Are you technically minded? Can you whip up amazing meals? What is your special flavor of creativity? Whatever it is, give yourself permission and the time to be inventive. The more creative you allow yourself to be, the more fulfilled you are going to feel. Yeah. It's telling you to express your creativity here in whatever form that is. Perhaps to uplift your energy here, right? Strength can talk about weakness sometimes. Sometimes when we're emotionally distraught, that can translate into, you know, physical aches as well. But yes, Pisces, that is what I have for you. Take care of yourself and I'll see you next week. Bye.